Hi. Got me singing. I'm Jordan Carlos, and that's my favorite song. If you've been counting down the days of Shark Week on your Marine Life Advent calendar, you are not alone. This is the Daily Bite. We'll spend the next 21 days remembering the best of Shark Week from the past 30 years. Yes, Shark Week is that old. Looking at everything sharky in the world around us and looking forward to Shark Week 30, beginning July 22nd on Discovery. And then there's like a graphic thing that happens. It's sweet. It's time for the Daily Bite, your daily countdown to Shark Week. We're 21 days away and packing everything jawsome about sharks into every episode. Today, a look back at 30 years of Shark Week heroes, plus some insane moments with shark expert Dickie Chevelle, plus a look at the great white abyss. And this is what happens when you answer ads on Craigslist. Heroes, they're all around us. Firemen, doctors, short form web video host. Let's take a look at some of the lives and legacies of some serious Shark Week legends. Shark Week hero. My favorite Shark Week hero is not a human, but actually the sharks themselves, because they're the true heroes and true stars of Shark Week. And it's just an incredible pleasure and privilege for us to interact with these sharks and watch them do what they do naturally. Well, my personal Shark Week hero are the sharks themselves. Given the role they play in the ecosystem and providing us with a healthy planet, keeping everything in balance is why they're my favorite. You know, without the big fish to bring us all together um, and bring out our passion and understanding to want to do good and, and see how our oceans are built on being healthy because of these top predator being healthy. Um, you know, for me, they, they get all the credit, so we can keep doing this as long as we do a good job protecting them. One of the legends of Shark Week is diver Dickie Chevelle. Whenever there's a job too dangerous, too crazy, too, oh no, I ain't doing that. For the rest of the divers, Dickie does it. Let's take a look at some of Dickie's craziest shark moments in a segment we like to call Dickie Done Did It. And we do it like that, we hit it. Dickie Done Did It. Jacob, what the hell is this thing? Ghost cage. The shark's going to be able to see you in this, but he's not going to be able to sense you, which might really be an interesting experiment. The sharks behind me, they're all amped up. Dicky is going in with just snorkeling gear. In black suit and flippers, he looks remarkably like a seal. They don't want to be injured, these sharks. They're very smart. They're worried about their own self-preservation. And there's... Dickie is in a fishbowl. The sharks outside are on the prowl. Guys, the door is broken! Will this plexiglass and epoxy box stand up to a couple of thousand pounds of violent shark action? If it collapses, Dickie is defenseless. Dickie, you all right? Pretty insane. Couple of close calls. What happened to your hand, man? <laughs> um, the ghost cage is pretty sharp. Dude, that was super sketchy. Stub my toe. Super bad, but I don't even care because this next segment is amazing and it's gonna make me feel great. Let's see what Yummy Cassanders has to say about the upcoming programming on Shark Week 30. Check it out. The segment, not my toe. The segment. She be talking money, looking bougie down a ride on a boat. Splash. We call my mama. Mama, put your good wig on in Shark Week. The Great White Abyss. Every show is us going 
to where these sharks are. Not one show does it say shark walks in the living room. Not one show does it say shark at the grocery store or shark sitting in the third pew at church or sharks at the Beyonce concert. They stayed they ass where they belong in the deep blue sea. Look at the guy next to him. He's looking around like he's not even sure if he should be there. There's always somebody extra on these missions that's like, how did I wind up there? And this is what happens when you answer ads on Craigslist. Come on now, you're gonna tune in for Great White Abyss. Only on Shark Week. Well, that is it for us here at The Daily Bite. Tomorrow, we'll show you some crazy shark fails, and I'll teach you some new shark vocab so you can either impress your friends or have them just think you're weird. I've been on both sides of that. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>